The views and opinions expressed on all radio and television shows broadcasted on the The Perseverance Network are entirely those of the hosts, guests and callers, who are entirely responsible for all the show content, and do not necessarily reflect the opinions of The Perseverance Network or its staff. Thank you. We're back to the Neil Haley Show. On the Total Celebrity segment, I'm excited to welcome the program astronaut Scott Kelly, author of Endurance, A Year in Space, A Lifetime of Discovery. Scott, thanks for calling, and how are you? I'm doing good. How are you guys? Fantastic, Scott. And tell us specifically why you wrote the book. I mean, especially, I know you're a very busy person, so to be able to write a book as thick as this, it must have taken some time to to talk about that year, you know, and put it down on paper. Well, yeah, so I was, uh, well, one of the reasons I was really busy the last, you know, year and a half, almost two years was because I was writing a book, which is not an easy thing to do, actually a lot harder than I thought it would be. But um, yeah, I felt like, you know, my story being on the space station for a year and then even more specifically, my story growing up about being this kid that could never do his homework, never pay attention, poor student, goes to college, not doing well, discovers Tom Wolfe's book, The Right Stuff, and it inspired me to be able to do more. And I felt like if I could just fix the issue I had with paying attention and being able to study, you know, maybe I could be a test pilot or an astronaut like the guys in, in Tom's book. And then, you know, fast forward 18 years later, and I flew in space for the first time, almost to the day that I read that book 18 years prior. Wow. And so you had to kind of get your act together. And how did you make those changes? Because listeners are out there and viewers are out there saying to themselves, you know, I don't get this. You know, I'm I school's hard for me. I don't know if I can do this or I, I, I just don't think I can tackle this. So I just don't want to try. I don't want to try. Scott, how can you inspire people to say, I did this? I just made that change and you made that turn. Tell, tell us about that turning point and how yeah. others can turn too. Well, a couple of thoughts on that. One one is, for me, it was possible for me to pay attention and do my homework. Like, I think if I was in school today, I'd be the kid with ADHD. Um, and it took me the inspiration of a book that showed me that there was, you know, other opportunities out there and people that did them that were relatable to me. Um you know, I felt like I had a lot in common with the early astronauts except for the fact that I couldn't do my homework. And it wasn't easy to fix that problem, but, you know, it was a process, and I did it on my own. And once I, you know, just through brute force method figured out how to, how to study and pay attention, I was able to, you know, step by step, slowly, methodically, lots of opportunities to fail, just kind of keep pressing ahead. And eventually, you know, you you can be successful. I think the other thing, though, is for people to be willing to take risk. I hear oftentimes people say, well, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to fail. You know, a lot of really successful people out there, the reason they are successful is they're willing to fail. I mean, otherwise, how will you ever know you can possibly achieve if you're not willing to take that risk? No, Definitely. Absolutely. It's it's something that's uh, very, very interesting when you talk about that is to take that risk and taking risks is something that everyone has to try in their lives. And in your book, you're highlighting that you said you took risks and you and you you succeeded. But lots of people probably around you said there's no way, Scott, you're going to be an astronaut. Right. There's no way you're going to be in space or any of the <laughs> dreams that you wanted. Yeah, I think in my my in my yearbook under my under my picture, it says the guy least likely to become an astronaut. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's, I just made that up. No, that is funny, but it's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, um, that, so that's that's the uh, that's the interesting process of this, Scott. And what, what do you think people are going to be inspired also from the book are going to be really interested to know about yourself, Scott, in this book? Well, I think that's one of the very interesting things, you know, and, and it, so that's where, you know, the story kind of starts, right? But along the way, there are lots of opportunities. Like, as an example, you know, I wasn't the best pilot at first. 
You know, I didn't never flew, flew an airplane. You know, eventually I got really good. And, you know, I think it shows you that how good you can, um, you know, get at something you feel very passionate about. It doesn't really matter how good you are when you start. How, how good you are in the beginning is no, no indication of how good you can become. Uh, so there's, his, there's, there's stories like that. You know, after my second space flight, I had prostate cancer. I had my prostate removed, which is not a very easy, you know, surgery and recovery. And then after that, I went ahead and flew in space. I had flown in space 20 days before having prostate cancer. I flew in space for 500 days after. So I think it also, you know, are lessons like that, that you can have something bad happen to you. You can still make a comeback if you work hard at it. Oh, absolutely. You can still make a comeback regardless of what happens in your life. You're going to hit rock bottom at times, oh. but then there's only way one way up. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's the, and then, so there, there yeah. you go. So a lot of times people give up, then they let everything fall. They let all the bricks fall. So for example, you know, you, your foundation, you, you don't have that foundation, everything falls and you just give up. And that's the sad thing in life where you see a lot of people, Scott, with, uh, that end up getting depressed, anxious or different things because they just want things that be, end up perfect in their lives, everything to go well. And that's just not life, Scott. And that's interesting. You talk about that in your book. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Absolutely. And Scott, in this in this journey, what did you learn most about writing it on paper, this book? What would you say? Um, well, I wrote it on an iPad, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, me, um, yeah. Thank God for the iPad, right? Yeah, I uh, wrote it mostly on an airplane. You know, I learned that writing a book is a really hard thing to do, a lot harder than I thought it would be. Actually, it took a lot more time. You know, the hard part is not even not necessarily the, the writing of it. It's the reading it over and over again yeah. every time you think you're finished. Um, but I'm happy with it. I think it's a good book, and I, I hope people will enjoy it. But more importantly, I hope some people, maybe, you know, a kid like me or young adults or others will be inspired by my story and believe that uh, they can do and, and achieve more than they um uh, possible well fantastic scott thanks again for calling the best place we could pick up your book it's all in finer bookstores endurance a year in space a lifetime of discovery by scott kelly and scott is there a place we can connect with you and uh find information on you as well where can we go uh go to scottkelly.com pretty easy all right. Well, Scott, it was a very interesting a story. It's very interesting to see people that look like they're not going to be a success yet. They turn the, the corner and look out and uh, continued success in your career, Scott. And good luck on the book. And thanks for calling. Thank you. All right, thanks Scott. Take care. Okay. See you later. All right. Bye. You're listening to Neil Haley's show. And we'll be back in just a moment. The views and opinions expressed on all radio and television shows broadcasted on the Perseverance Network are entirely those of the hosts, guests and callers, who are entirely responsible for all show content, and do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the Perseverance Network or its staff. Thank you.